Previously on E's 9 Monstrum Nox, the party explored Milian Plains, which was full of goblins. They then entered the ruins and had to sneak past a really overleveled mini boss enemy. Finally, they fought a trio of mummies that fortunately all had reasonable stats. Into the abyss. Where are we, Vault? Treasure chest located. Life Elixir. Push this button here. Yeah, I miss a lot of these areas. Medicine stash. Chest located. Is there a remedy? Hermit remedy. Panacea. Treasure chest located. Sweet remedy. Skip little eyes look elsewhere. Only through inner sight can this device be perceived. So hint that there was a button here, huh? Treasure chest located. Grim nut. Black fig. Norris blue. Dried meat. This place is huge. What is it? What could that be? It's beautiful. Looks like some kind of ancient mural. That central figure resembles the deity statue outside. That's Grimnir, king of the gods. Since he's wearing a mask, this mural must predate the Hundred Years' War. The figures depicted around him are his demigod warriors. Demigods? What are those? They were the half-human, half-god servants of Grimnir. Hey, guys, get a load of that. Isn't that... It's... The Lemures. Those people fighting the monsters. Red Moons, could it be? Could it be? Is that the Grimwald Nox? Don't those monsters look familiar to you guys? There's no doubt about it. And those people fighting the monsters are Grimnir's demigods. This must mean that the Grimwald Nox has been appearing since ancient times. It's just like Aprilis said. But this doesn't give us all the answers. Still, we might learn something important by observing these relics of the past. So, we are getting closer to the truth, right? The catacombs go deeper in that way. The sooner we finish searching this hellhole, the sooner we can get out. But... it doesn't make sense. It isn't Monstrums fighting the Lemiris in this, but the demigods. I have even more questions now than I had before. What is that over there? Maybe some more old ruins? It's hard to tell from here. There's no end to the secrets this city holds. Okay, we cannot go in the water. Oh, I managed to get to the chest. Okay. Onyx belt. That was a tough one to get. I'm not sure I was intended to go here yet. Oh man, I feel like I'm skipping stuff. This seems like a speedrun strat. That was awkward. What the? Oh, I see a chest out in the distance. Hey, some treasure. 
3,000 gold? <sighs> Tonic? Okay. Treasure chest located. 2,500? Huh, treasure chest. Hermit's remedy? Okay. Hey, some treasure. Blade ring free. Good. Oh, hey, uh, a quick travel point. New location. Great Bell Bridge. Huh. This was worth the journey. Oh, it's a red one. Eagle Eye Orb. Increase mapping range a bit. Bitter Remedy times six. Two thousand gold. Okay, there was a secret passage there, but I still need to explore a bit on this side. There we go. Fortunately, no executioners. Warrior seal free. What does this do? It's not a trap, is it? Full potion. That was a simple puzzle. Let's die. It's sealed shut. There must be something we can do to open it. Yeah, how about I just sm No, Yufa! We might end up breaking something important. Let's die. I have detected something. Okay, man, should flip this switch. Hmm. Allow me. All right. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hit it! Huh. Flip one sw more switch, the third one. Now I just need one more. But it's not gonna be easy. Let's die. There's something here. Please turn corner. Ugh. Okay. Hold the final lever, okay. That gets me into one of those rooms, okay. How do I get there easily? Okay, Norris Blue. Mystic Lazulite. An 
Oh, and the healing point. Okay, good. It is another enormous room. Look at all. There's another mural. It's a lot creepier looking than the other ones. That's not a mural, it's a sculpture. Ellipses. You're quiet. What are you staring at? Is Big Ugly here an old friend of yours? It doesn't look like it predates the Hundred Years' War. You're right. Unlike those other murals back there, this one's a hell of a lot more realistic. It looks like it'll come to life at any moment. Jinx us. Careful. Uh, what was that? What's causing it? Get ready for battle. <laughs> this day keeps getting better and better. Is that poison? It's rising. Keep moving up the stairs. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, I want to go home. It doesn't seem too bad now, but once it cross once it loops around one time, it's going to start getting very bad. Now, the gimmick is that the spikes that you have to destroy, they're protected while it's moving, but once it stands still, it's a lot less protected. Supposedly. Unfortunately, if you already destroyed enough of them, it might just keep moving anyways and not give you a chance. And then it'll, it'll just keep, raise the electric gate further ahead. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff to worry about, including all the electric ropes that keep going down the stairs. Ugh. My, my bad death perception makes it even worse. Okay, now quickly run over. I have the accessory that's supposed to increase my flash move duration, but sometimes it's not enough. The fun's just getting started. Let's just squash it and get this over with already. Now! Yeah, that part is very tricky. You have to either stand between the lasers or just dive in time. I wish there was a way to extend uh, to slow down how much gauge is consumed while using shadow dive. That would make it slightly easier to wait out the ropes. The ropes don't do a lot of damage, but it adds up over time, especially if you're having trouble destroying the spikes fast enough. And there's also poison balls. Yeah. yeah. Again, the camera, uh, the fact that you have a, a rotatable camera makes things a lot more complicated in this game compared to uh, the original Ease Origin for uh, Felgana. Yeah, when there's a bunch of projectiles flowing everywhere and you have a non fixed camera angle. It's easy to miss some of them, and that can be fatal, even if the patterns are technically a little bit easier in some ways. Alright, here I... It turns out I actually missed a spike, so I wasted a little bit of time. Fortunately, it's already at the top level, so once I destroy this, it's over. However, if you destroy all the spikes before reaching the top, you'll still have to wait out its attacks and wait for it to actually reach the top, which is very, very bad design. It just drags out the battle unnecessarily. Though this time it was not the case because I screwed up and fought, forgot about a spike. Let's go. We're at the top now. I hate it. 
it till it it's gross and it won't die. Don't know about you guys, but I'm having a ball. It is growing noticeably weaker. We must double our offensive. Okay, when it does that, you're supposed to use Shadow Dive if you're trapped in the middle. If you manage to get outside, then you don't have to because you have way more room to run. And you can just keep trying to find spikes to destroy. Of course, once it starts going back to the outside, you should probably get back to the inside so that you have more room. Unfortunately, now you have to wait out its uh, one last attack. Because I killed the spikes fairly quickly this time, it was not able to use its deadlier wheel attack. Instead, it'll do a flying attack that it did not have an origin. Still got whacked a few times. But I can't really do anything until it comes back down and exposes the final horn. So I'm just going to switch to Kreisha who has a little bit more health than the others right now. Yeah, yeah punch it! Oh, okay, that went. I that worked out a little better this time, but I still took a ton of damage at the end. Whatever, I'll keep it. I'll keep this run this time. Sloppy, but it works. God, I never expected a giant centipede to come barreling right out of the, from the wall. No kidding, I think I'm still in shock. That's that was one weird monster, wasn't it? Indeed, it differed considerably from those found in the Grimwald Knox. It didn't seem like it was native to the area either. Let's get a step in. Looks like this place goes even deeper from here. Ugh. That too much bullet hell right there. Did I fully map out the place? Whoa. The stairs got repaired too. Weird. Their platform. I mean, Machia is one hundred percent. Okay, cool. Good work out there. You're quite the. Okay, fifteen is a multiple of three. Here's a little. Warlord Elixir. I probably should have gotten this before fighting the boss. Hmm. Oh, almost a full circle? Not really. I've done all I could for this chapter, so let's make a save and continue. Another prison put area? Huh, you know, I kind of feel like I've been here before. Oh wow, what gave it away? We only end up in the prison literally every time. The prison? Then this is where... Do you want to head back? Let's keep searching. I thought you'd say as much, out of the red. No sense turning back. Let's investigate the place as thoroughly as we can. Someone's ready to go. What happened to being sick? In any case, this means even the catacombs are connected to the prison. Emergency preparedness I can get, but how many escape routes does one place even need? Is something the matter, Kreisha? Oh, um, it just seems quieter here than the prison usually is. Let's proceed with caution, then. We cannot know what awaits us ahead. I can still teleport to other places, huh? Point of no return is not here yet. Something's in that door, but the rest of the place is blocked off. No rescuing the other at all. <laughs> Someone doesn't get out often. 
I'm not familiar with the equipment in here. This must be a laboratory where advanced experiments are conducted. What kind of experiments could they be doing in here? I don't like this one bit. <sighs> Something on your mind, Anamona? Pardon me. I was merely distracted. Distracted? Are you feeling unwell? I am a doll, so I do not suffer such ailments. Who are you people? How did you get in here? I should report the lot of you. Yeah? I'd like to see you try, old man. Wait, Hawk! He doesn't look like he works for the prison. I detect no other presence in the vicinity. He is alone. Uh, how? Dad? Dad? Is that you? What? Jewels? It can't be. You're Jewels, aren't you? <laughs> Jewels! My son! It really is you, Dad. Jewels, your legs. Your condition has gotten worse, hasn't it? He really is Jules' father. I'm so glad you found him. But wasn't his father being held as a prisoner? She's right. What are you doing in a lab? Do you have any idea how worried Mom is about you? <sighs> Dad? You all must be the Monstrums. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Smirnov Noah. I was once a doctor in Balduk. I know you. You're famous, Doc. What's a guy like you doing in a dump like this? As I'm sure you've all speculated, I'm helping someone conduct experiments. Helping who? And what kind of experiments? <clears throat> This is just a gut feeling, but what comes to mind when you think experiments? You know, all those preposterous things we've seen around here. Do you mean the primordials? You mean the giant centipede? Or is the all of the above answer? They're pre clearly connected. You mean the primordials? I see. So, you were the ones who broke into the restricted sector. Dad! <laughs> I bet that giant centipede was your doing too, huh? I can't believe it. Why would you create these monsters? Who are you working for? <sighs> Forget it. He ain't talking. Whatever it is, it's apparently more important than his precious son's disease. Dad? Are you working for the Hieroglyph Knights? The Hieroglyph Knights? That would be the logical conclusion. What you've all seen was only a glimpse of the complete truth. But a word of caution. If you choose to delve further into the truth of this prison, you will be faced with a difficult choice. That must be what Aprilis was referring to. Chatelard was yammering on about something similar. We intend to discover the truth. We can't avoid the truth anymore. Hmm. You're just as I heard you to be, Crimson King. But I've already divulged more than I should have. And I cannot return home until my work here is finished. You never think of anyone but yourself. I used to be grateful to you. You took me in. Made me feel like I was your real son. Real son? But you abandoned mom. You forced her to take care of me all by herself. If you despised me so much, then you should have just said so! Jules, 
For some reason, Mom still won't give up on you. Everyone looks at her like the wife whose husband left her with a broken kid. Despite all that, she still waits for you to come home. Every day. You can't even begin to imagine how much she's gone through because of you. Do either of us actually mean anything to you at all? I won't be your burden for much longer anyway. But before that, I'm going to bring you back to Mom. Even if I have to drag you the whole way. Jules, calm down. It all makes sense now. His final nail in the coffin. Work hard so the ones looking after me can live in peace. Bring back that deadbeat so I can thank him properly. He was writing about his mom and dad. Jules. I'm sorry. I truly wish I could, but I cannot leave this prison. I cannot let this all go to waste. Is this... Convenient teleportation. I'm glad I could see you. What? Dad? Inmate 217. How do you know that number? So it's true. You really are Adol Kristen. Slowly but surely, you draw nearer toward the center of the web. Each step you take will be more dangerous than the last. I hate to ask this of you, but please, take care of Jules. Take care of my son. Wait! He's gone! What... Uh, what happened to him? It appears he has escaped our grasp. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> You'll see him again. I know. Jules... We were able to retrieve some valuable information. We are now aware that there are experiments involving monsters and primordials, and that it is all somehow related to our curses. Yes, and that Jules's father is working for someone. But who could it be? That I do not know. Whoever it is, they've got to be the one behind all of this. Maybe it's the man Aprilis was talking about. The mutual acquaintance between her and Shadowlard. That may be the most probable answer. It's the best lead we've got right now. I'd wager that oh so virtuous Master Shadowlard is laying a scheme as we speak. <laughs> Adol, let's return to the Dandelion. It's been a long day. I think everyone could use some rest. No, we should break out the other Adol. Yuf is right. Maybe we'll be able to think clearer afterwards. Then I would advise against lingering here for much longer. Let us depart at once. Hey, what do you think about what we just heard? That the Hieroglyph Knights are running the prison now, instead of the Roman garrison? Well, they said it was only temporary until Warden Belger recovered from his illness. But it is strange that it came from the Knights and not Warden Belger himself. You do have a point. There's an underground sector the guards aren't allowed in, right? I heard a rumor that they're conducting some odd experiments down there. Experiments? What kind of experiments? Uh, I don't know. No use dwelling on it then. It's just a rumor. But I don't know how else to explain all the weird things that have been happening lately. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. We're here to do a job that I don't feel like losing anytime soon. I don't either. Then we're on the same page. Let's go. Meet up with Marius in the chapel. Oh, these sections are really... <laughs> Not that enjoyable.
Hey there, Adol. You're not- you aren't napping for once. <laughs> huh? Now you mention it, I suppose I'm not. Listen, Adol, I know this is sudden, but today's the day we go our separate ways. I decided to break myself out of here. Remember that old map we found in the restricted sector? I'm planning on using that escape route on it, uh, on it to make a break for the city. Why all of a sudden? To tell you the truth, there's a great deal of things I owe you an explanation for. But I can't get you wrapped up in this any more than I already have. I'm sorry. I'm going to miss you. Do you really have to go? So will I, my friend, but you don't have to worry about me. Anyway, we won't be seeing much of each other from here on. Take it easy on yourself, okay? I'll just be on my way now. See you around, Adol. Is it really okay to let Marius go off on his own? Head to the mines from the courtyard. No problems to speak of. We've managed to persuade the guards for the time being. All according to my pl all according to plan so far. But stay sharp, we'll still have some skeptics to contend with, no doubt. There's no mistaking it, the knights are taking control over the prison. You'll have to tread carefully to avoid getting caught by them. Marius wants to use an escape path that branches out from the mines. The entrance to the mines is right below the central wing courtyard. If you hurry, you just might be able to catch up to him. No questions regarding the current prison management situation will be answered. As always, the only thing you should be focusing on is your work. Any statements of insult or provocation will be regarded as disruptive behavior. That Marius hasn't been around lately. What a pity, he was one of my finest clients too. But I suppose I shouldn't jump to any conclusions just yet. I may be rotten, but no informant would dare spread unfounded rumors about. What? Not only do you fail to deliver my painting, now you refuse to refund me. Just what kind of scam are you running here? Well, you see, they've suddenly put out a whole bunch of sanctions on us. Apparently the authorization rights have been transferred over to the knights, so... Enough of your excuses. Give me my money back at once. What? Listen, let's not be hasty here. Getting new merch in has been rough ever since the knights took over. Damn it all, but business has practically dried up thanks to them. But I won't give up here. I'm too far gone to live on the straight and narrow my anymore. I'll find a way out of this, even if I have- even I have my dignity, you know? This is the entrance to Jillian Mines Penal Labor Center. Are you a special sector inmate? I'll need to get a look at your access pass. Present the access pass. Yep, no problems here. I'm guessing you've come to volunteer. That's right. Yes. Someone else came by a while ago to do just the same. Maybe you know him. Exemption from mandatory labor duties is one of the many perks of the special sector. It's not every day we get a willing volunteer out of it, let alone two. Too suspicious. All better for us, the mines are right down this passage. Show them your access pass again when you get downstairs. They don't care because they, they think we're rich. <laughs> Things are getting to be a real mess these days. But hey, the prison industri industrial complex stops for no one. These special sector inmates are welcome to voluntarily perform penal labor as well. Though of course it won't be any easier on you, try not to overwork yourself. Hmm? So to clarify, we should submit our periodic reports to Unites. Well, that makes sense, given that the prisons already are under their jurisdiction. But who are we supposed to report to? Periodic reports will go to us for the time being. As for you, submit your transaction reports from the Pendleton Company like always. We'll contact you right away once we've assigned you a director. Thanks for all the help. Though I doubt Mr. Pendleton will be happy about things stalling without a say-so. I'll see you what I can do. Now, if you'll excuse me... Unbelievable, things have really gone to hell without the warden around. Yeah, he may be a little suspect at times, but at least he's actually helpful. You there, say your business. Maybe he's here for the same thing that the guy from the special sector was earlier. Oh, volunteer then. You have your access pass, I gather. You present your access pass. This is pretty admirable of you, as far as special sector residents go. We'll be sure to take your actions here into account in your next parole hearing. Move along now, the foreman will give you your assignment inside. 
How are you supposed to escape I'm pr uh, from the mines, though? There's so many guards everywhere. What's this? Another volunteer? Never did I expect to receive two in the span of a single day. We know each other. Oh, is that right? Quite commendable for residents of the special sector. You can continue down the passage if you wish to offer up your services. Why does this guy look unique compared to the other guards? The work site sh should be all the way at the end of the path. Our primary commissions call for silver, but sulfur and cinnabar are in demand as well. Just take care you don't lose your way and end up in the old mine gallery. Beasts are known to prowl there, so I won't be able to make any guarantees in your life. That's not a reliable way to escape, huh? How do I get by lecturing these dullards day after day? What, you're still here? The work site is just ahead of here. Just take care you don't lose your way and end up in the old mine gallery. Listen, no funny business, alright? Any and all disruptive behavior is subject to maximum disciplinary action. Hey, isn't that the guy from before? That guy who was picking on parks? Not the same way Marius took. Okay. The old mine gallery should be somewhere past this locked gate. You can see signs that the lock was picked before being carefully put back into place. Unlock. I don't have a choice. You quickly unlock the gate before anyone can catch you. There's a healing point. Let's take a break. It didn't. I don't think it activated for me. Only monstrums can use these, huh? Oh, hell no. Vines? A treasure chest. White nut? Oh boy. Hold on, Rusty. What a turn of fate running into you in a messy place like this. What are you up to anyhow? Making a break for it already? You relate everything that's happened until now until Xavier. Her Hoide, so you found a way to bust out of this place already, huh? I'm a little worried about that Marius fellow myself. But for now, you should go see if this really does lead to an escape route. I might be feeling gracious enough to gallantly lend you a Narpa. Thanks for always looking out for me. Thank you. It's no big deal. I mean, wherefore else would I come all the way here in the first? Anyway, let's set, set forth before some rascally uh, waste stroll spots us. Why can't he just be an actual party member? It's gonna get stuck like that if you don't unstuck it, you know. Ugh. Made it. Made the jump. Ugh. I can get back to the other side, but why would I want to? Oh no. Spike pits. Why- only prison adult gets the spike pits. Everyone else gets the harmless, bottomless pits. 800 gold? <sighs> doing here? Don't let it spot you, Rusty! A treasure chest! Red cheese. Who? Whoa. Whoa, wait, how did that work? How did I actually dodge that? Okay, this one could be tough. Aha! A treasure chest! 1200 gold? So I have to make that rock become a bridge, but I have to also find a safe spot to hide in, which is not easy. 
Okay. Wait, how do I get that chest done? Do I actually have to jump on it? Can I actually jump on this thing? Oh, yes I can. 600 gold, yikes. That was a tricky one to get. A treasure chest. Raisins, okay. Another dastardly trap down. Puyo, Meenix, we may have passed the worst of it by now. Are you challenging me? After this, things should be... <laughs> All downhill from here. <sighs> Sneaking our way through wouldn't be impossible, per se. But catching up to that Marius fellow would be another story. How did Marius get through all this? And they're all the long-range types, too. I guess there's only one thing for it. Looks like we ha will be parting ways sooner than we thought, Rusty. My cunning wit and nimble blade should be enough to keep a few of them at busy. I won't be able to stray the whole lot, but you can handle the rest, right? Will you be okay, Xavier? What? Will I be okay? You wouldn't be, Rusty. I've been planning on this from the very start, so don't fret about me. If only those monsters were here, they could just take them out with one blow. If anyone can spark a change around here, it's gotta be you. I know you have it in you to solve this prison's conundrums and save us all. I can think of no better reason to lend you my aid. Plus, I beseech you, get out of here before and carry the fight for, on for both of us. Oh, Catch, come your way, lily lovered moppets. Feast your gates upon the exalted Xavier. Fair people, adults, till next we meet wherever that may be. So he's gonna lure some of them out, but there's still gonna be enough that I'll be screwed. You'd hear Xavier's footsteps fade into the distance he lured sentries away. Two of them still remain, however. It would be best to proceed with caution. Okay, as long as I'm up here, they can't really catch me, can they? As long as I'm on the platforms, because they, they're not smart enough to deal with that shit. Ho! A treasure chest. That chest apparently cannot be obtained yet. Maybe I have to come back with the other at all, because platforming is hard. <laughs> what? Oh no! <sighs> Good going, Marius. Quite a pickle you've gotten yourself in this time. Over here, beast! Let's go! Is that... at all? Close. Are you alright? Thanks to you. You saved my neck, Adol. I've definitely had better moments. <sighs> I ran out here trying to escape, and before I knew it, I was hanging on for dear life. I wanted to talk to you about the time we snuck into the restricted sector. We know the Hieroglyph Knights have a bone to pick with the Roman Empire, but it's not just that. My gut tells me that Shadowlard's hiding something up his sleeve. To that end, I have something I need to do. If I don't, then I'll never be more than just a tool. What do you mean? I'm beginning to remember the reason why I am here. My purpose is to ensure the well-being of my country. My greedy, pompous country, fraught with hypocrisy. Are you talking about Glia? Are you talking about the Roman Empire? You mean... Yes, that's exactly right. As you might be aware, the Roman Empire is not exactly well-liked in Aresia. Chalk it up to the wars, the invasions, conquests to expand our territory. Hell, even the ocean couldn't shield Africa from the consuming flames of Rom. And now, Glia has been added onto its long list of annexed nations. Shadowlard's out for revenge. 
I believe he intends to use me against my own country. Who are you exactly? Sounds like a complicated situation. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's a real mess. Use against his own country, so... like a hostage? In any event, I don't expect you to follow me into the wolf's den. I've been helped by Romans before, and want to regain my freedom as an adventurer. Is that right? So you've got a debt to repay, is that it? Mm. Ah, what the hell. We've watched each other's backs for this long. Okay, it's a deal. We're getting out of here together. You and I are going to be partners until we've both gotten what we're after. I look forward to it. Should have led with that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Never thought I'd say this, but I wonder if we'd still be friends if you knew the real me. Do you feel that? It's barely noticeable, but there's a draft. There must be a passage leading outside. Oh, but escaping seems really tough of all these robots. According to the map, the escape route continues along this way. Let's press ahead. There's no going back now. Yeah. We'd better keep moving. They'll come looking for us once they've realized we're gone. How are we gonna make it p Do they have a way to command the robots, though? Hmm. That's it. We didn't even make it through the entire dungeon. There was one chest I could not obtain. Got Twilight Shards. They're doing experiments beneath the prison, huh? Hmm, and Jules' father is involved. Many know of Dr. Noah and that he is indisputably a, br a brilliant scholar. For a doctor as distinguished as he to have access to advanced technologies, I can only imagine the scientific miracles he could achieve. You think they're looking to train primordials and monstrums monsters to use in war? Even if they don't, there's bound to be immense profits to be made from them. They're nuts, a lot of them. Jurassic Park, all over again, right? Oh, um... Where we, we really should be concerned about is stopping the them from making more creatures. When do we leave? You idiot, this is not nothing to be excited about. It's got, it's still got no idea what Chowler is playing yet. It's clear that Dr. Noah and the Hieroglyph Knights are indeed colluding. I can't think of anything good that could come out of this. This is merely conjecture, but I presume the Romans are to some capacity aware of the situation. Yes, it's been quite quiet around here lately. Maybe it's because I haven't seen the warden in a while. Oh, now that you mention it, I haven't either. Maybe he's not feeling well. That may be true, but I fear our missing warden is analogous to the recent search in oddities. Don't tell me we're recruiting the warden to the dandelion. He's gonna dress up in a Mater Butler uniform. Yeah, we can't just wait till this blows over, even if it ends up being nothing. Alright. We're gonna go back to the prison, and we're gonna find out what's going on. What do you say, Adol? But which route do we take? That's exactly what I had in mind. Like it or not, we're all involved in this now. Yeah. Good old Adol. This could very well involve all of Balduk. I don't give a hoot about Balduk. I'm in because I've got a score as well of Chalard. I'll join as well, for family reasons. I will accompany you as, as per usual. If we're breaking into the prison, then I've got an idea. A new route. Can you show me the map of the city at all? Remember the passages we found in the outskirts leading to the prison? The common denominator is that we found them all in ancient buildings or ruins. That was an insightful observation. If my hypothesis is correct, then there's one here we haven't investigated yet. The ruins from the Hundred Years' War. I'm guessing we'll find a passage there. You two better not run out on us to see a sights. Well, I've got my reasons too, so more power to ya. I won't deny that I do harbor interest in seeing the ruins. Guys, the plan, remember? Right, as for the location of the ruins. They're right here. Wow, that's pretty far away. That's all the way east of the city. What kind of ruins are out there? They're what's left of an abandoned quarry. In the old days, rocks and minerals were mined from there. Of course nobody's mining there in ages. It's safe to assume it'll be vacant. That path, I think I remember there being a barrier blocking it. Yes, it was there when we went to the shrine. If this is our destination, then we must first dispel the barrier. Then the plan has been decided. Alright, once we're ready, let's head out.
Capriccio of the prison. <sighs> New quests, okay. Yeah. Whew, pretty much all my free time is goes towards smithing practice. But I'm still not good enough to use my dad's techniques to their fullest potential. Maybe after I return to Artisan Lane someday, when I've honed my skills enough. Heh, <laughs> in my dreams, right? But hey, you gotta shoot for the moons to be a star. Lucian's gonna help me tidy up the warehouse today. He's a stick compared to Dogi, but he's a lot, still a lot stronger than I thought he'd be. Guess he wasn't lying about being a Seneschal of the Knights, huh? Bye bye See you later! I was able to get in contact with some subordinates of mine at the Chapter House. They say the Order has been taking a number of suspicious measures lately. I have a bad feeling about this. I can't shake. I hope, just hope it's nothing more than a feeling. Hello there. Chante informed me that Carla is currently here for a visit upstairs. If I recall correctly, she hasn't visited since the deadline was first established. <laughs> She's in for a pleasant surprise, as it's blossomed into quite the spectacle. At least to this old man, the deadline's charm has no parallel. Yes, I would even go as far as to suggest it's become something of a home to many of us. Talks been circulating about some unknown cargo being brought into the prison. I tried going off the old bags until to go uh, do some digging, but it'd probably be faster to just sneak in and see what they're hiding. Well, aren't you a dependable sort? Were you a thief once, perhaps? What do you think about working for me once your prospects are open? I'm sure I could expect many a great thing from the Crimson King's right-hand man. Alright, enough of the head hunting. Save the pitch for after Adol's curse is broken, alright? Hey! Me and the Resistance, I'm flattered, but not in the, this lifetime. But the old bag and I were like two peas in a pod. We work pretty good together. Alright, well, that should do it. <laughs> good work out there. Certainly got one collection of characters here in this hideout. <laughs> I dare say I'm looking forward to this on a more personal level as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, splendid work today, Adol. Hmm, I am suffering from an ache in my poor shoulder after sleeping all day. But if someone were to give me a shoulder rub... Ooh la la, you gaze upon me as if I'm an ex-lover seeking a second chance, hmm? hmm. Adol, you appear as drained as a dried fish on a summer day. You should not neglect your health, no matter how busy you are. Adol, sorry, I didn't know you were there. I was just thinking about Dad. Don't worry, I'm not going to let it interfere with this mission. I've been making sure to conserve my energy by not using my mushroom form. Hey. It's sweet of you two to keep me company, but don't you have things to take care of? Man, all that mess with the prison's finally weighing up to uh, uh, ten and anyhow. Besides, this here's a nice change of pace. It's not much of a change, given how often you have arrived in the Nox pre-inebriated. Nevertheless, recuperation is vital. Perhaps I shall indulge in an extra lump of sugar. Just how does Anemona's body work, I wonder? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Been searching high and low for any clues on that hidden treasure I'm after. And you know what? I think I've stumbled on a pretty promising lead. Keep up the good work, Adol. As, as for me, that treasure is as good as mine. Well, hello there, Adol. Oh, wait, take care up there. God, only thinks that's just, that's just as good as crossing swords with someone and sharing a drink with them. The final hurrahs in the uh, offing. Let's, let's end it with a bang. Chante informed me of that consuming sweet uh, victuals inv invigorates one. Since I am a doll, will I also experience the same effects? Sure. Curl is here for a visit today. I just went and said hi. <laughs> Felt nice catching up. She complimented my work ethic when I was working at another place a while back. Then she offered to re refer me if she ever found a better gig. Who knew that meant I'd wind up working with the other monstrums? Wait, you don't suppose Carla knew I was the Raging Bull when she referred me? Uh, honestly, knowing her, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Anyways, thanks to Carla, I found the Den Lion. Come back soon! Artisan is suffering. Trouble is starting to brew among the craftsmen, and I'd like to some outside help on my end. Anyone sees fit to accept this request, come speak to, with me at the Craft Guild. Warehouse Stakeout. The war Noble District warehouses have been frequent targets for burglary as of late. The nefarious culprits have proven capable of slipping by the Roman watch virtually undetected. I must emphatically uh, implore the aid of those skilled enough to handle those ruffians. She find uh, she find yourself fit uh, she find you fit these qualifications. Make your way to the Noble District warehouses at once. Finn recall, I have a trial for you all to undertake. Come see me once you've made your arrangements. That's Carl over there, right? From the Pendleton Company. I wonder if that other girl's her little sister. They do seem pretty close. 
I'm getting this real go get everybody buffer too. It's a little inspiring, actually. I saw these guys skul uh, skulking around an empty alleyway a while back. Real shady bunch. You don't suppose they're part of that old resistance group, the Bells of Freedom. Hmm, I'm telling you, man, something fishy's going on there. Of all the monsters, the one making the most waves is the Crimson King, no doubt. Some think he's a total scoundrel, while others say he's practically saved them. Either way, what matters is that he's rallied a whole lot together as a leader. And he was supposed to be the rookie among them, too. Must be one hell of a guy, huh? Girl, that jerk professor, he's so stubborn. Why doesn't he understand how worried I am about him? Oh, at all. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were there. Uh. It's just, I had an argument with Professor Valen. He's injured himself multiple times lately, and he won't tell me why. I keep telling him that if he just told me, I wouldn't have to badger him about it. By the way, there's something I wanted to tell you, Adol. I've been seeing a lot of new novelty products in stores all over town. They probably wouldn't have much practical use to you, but they make for great gifts. I highly recommend that you take a look for yourself whenever you have the chance. I'm utterly elated that Carla finally came for a visit. I had so much I wished to show her, including our lovely staff. <laughs> Carla came to my life as if she was an angel. I had just lost someone very dear to me, and I myself was lost in turn. We didn't know each other then, but she knew me uh, knew of me somehow and arranged a meeting. She told me if, that I was better suited for a, pro for a profession that brought joy rather than suffering. So she helped me find work outside of the arena, and now here I am. Truly, I owe Carla more than I'll ever be content with repaying. Now I must show Carla her fabulous kitchen, and then I shall introduce her to all of the Dandelion staff, or in Yufa, of course. <laughs> Good to see you too, Adol. I hope I'm not intruding. I wasn't expecting you, exactly. For what do we owe the pleasure? Are you here for business? No, I'm not working. I'm s I simply wanted to check out with my sister. How's your flower shop doing? I trust you're putting forth your best effort? Yeah. Yes, I am. It's been turning a profit since the last time you were there. And we now have flowers coming in from all over the world. I've been meaning to secure a promising deal on daily necessities co to complement the flowers. I see, you really have been working hard. You've matured, Krisha. Far would be just as proud of you as I am. Aww. I mean, you think I went too far? I just wanted Carla to know about my flower shop. Krisha, Krisha has grown quite a bit in my absence. I'm proud to call her my sister. It's unbecoming of me to be so sentimental. The quarry is to the east of the city, right? The east passage from the Millian Plains should take us there. We won't get past the barrier there till we deal with the Grimwald Knox first. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Ease 9 Monstrum Knox. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.